Everybody, happy Lent. Uh, Gabe here just wanted to do a video to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, this Lenten season. So we're starting to six weeks where, for me, I'm going to give up a bunch of stuff. Uh, it means uh, kind of being reflective and mindful of a lot of different things in life. I'm going to be giving up uh, sugar and uh, actually social media. So uh, I can still do Facebook and some of those things on my computer, but I'm giving those up on my uh, smart device. So I'm not going to be tempted to fall into those kind of things. Trying to find some other things too during this Lenten season to be more mindful of, um, you know, being around family and friends, the people that are important to me, and really focusing on, you know, those things that uh, really make a difference in life instead of all these distractions we have. So, taking this Lenten season to really uh, be more mindful of, you know, what's important to me, and uh, trying to get more into meditation. I've been reading a lot about meditation. I've done some forms of it in the past. Um, one of the things I do for me, it's a, it's a quick form of meditation. Is just this little out breath, so you breathe, you know, in uh, to the count of four, and then you breathe out to the count of eight. Uh, you can call it circle breathing or square breathing or um, however you want. Long out breath. I do that a lot. I also do very um, purposeful journaling. So uh, I get up in the morning and I'll usually try to journal about uh, things that I'm positive that I'm excited about for the day to frame my day in a happy happy uh, outlook and, and framework for what I want to accomplish that day. And then uh, on the opposite, when I get done with my day, I like to write down uh, what I've done during the day and specifically write out uh, as specifically as possible three things that I'm happy for that have happened during that day or that I'm grateful for. So trying to be mindful of those things that happen to me every day and really pay attention to those things. Um, actually started, I love edX. There's a lot of cool uh, classes on there that you can audit. I'm taking one that's uh, essentially about the science of being happy through the University of Berkeley. Really good course. Um, just started into it. I like that a lot. So that's that's going well. But starting into Lent, um, you know, yesterday was Fat Tuesday. Uh, it's also Mardi Gras. Uh, I went and did the, the sugar and got the sugar out of my system. So I'm not doing sugar, uh, hopefully in any shape or form over the next six weeks. So that'll help with my diet and everything else. And just staying mindful of not just what I put in my body, but uh, my actions and my thoughts. You know, your 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 thoughts drive your actions. And uh, your actions definitely speak louder than your words. So you got to watch how you act, um, and definitely act wisely um, and speak wisely. There's a lot of truth to be said to thinking about what you say before you say it, um, and really um, you being honest and truthful with yourself with what you're saying. But thinking about is what I'm saying needed? Uh, is it honest? Is it nice? Um, and if it doesn't pass some of those frameworks, then maybe you shouldn't say. Uh, what you think you're saying. You know, be mindful of not just your actions, but your words. And uh, maybe during this Lenten season, um, even if you're not into celebrating Lent, just take some time to uh, give back to your community. I work in a WeWork in Minneapolis. I love WeWork. Uh, shout out to them. And uh, last month they did a drive for uh, a food bank, and this month they're doing a drive for kids, so they're collecting books for kids uh, between the ages of 2 and 16. I love that. And it's just an awesome way to give back to the community that they're in. Um, and they do all of these kinds of things. And there's a lot of ways you can give back. Um, so just be mindful of you know how much you're giving back in your life. Uh, there's a quote that I like that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I, I can't remember right off the bat who it was from, but the, the quote is, uh, to those who much is given, much is expected. And I think that that definitely references me in my life and probably a lot of you too, that you know if you've been given a lot of opportunity and a lot of chance to be successful uh, and a lot of failures that you can learn from and, and uh, learn experiences from that you hopefully don't make those failures again, then a lot's expected of you. A lot, you're expected to grow and you're expected to learn uh, and you're expected to go out and help in your community and be leaders in your work uh, in all the different aspects of your life. Um, so just just be mindful, you know. Uh, that that's kind of the key today. Be mindful of what you're doing uh, in your life. For me, during Lent, uh, it's it's uh, increased by uh, the giving up of social media and the giving up of sugar, and maybe a couple other things I might cut out as we get into it. But just being mindful for me, spending a lot of time at church uh, every Wednesday. Our church does soup suppers. I go to there, and then on Fridays I go out for uh, fish dinners with the family and some of my community, and then church again on Sunday. Um, and I combine that with the stuff that I'm already doing. Like I said, the journaling in the morning to put a happy frame on my day because I definitely believe that we pick um, how we're going to frame our day and how we're going to frame our life. We can choose to be happy. Happiness isn't something that just happens to us. Um, it's something that we decide to do. It's something that a framework and uh, mindfulness that we decide to put forward into the world uh, that we're going to be happy people. And it doesn't mean you're that way all the time, but you try to be that way and it can make a big difference in if you actually are happy or not. So... Um, yeah, go out there, be mindful of what you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're speaking, what you're doing in your community. 
take a little bit of time to relax, back off uh, the everyday life, the social media, the looking at stuff online. Do a little bit of journaling. Do a little bit of meditation. And uh, make some plans for you know what you're going to do to help out in your community as a, as a greater whole. And uh, hope you guys have a great Lent. I'd love any feedback and what you guys are doing to be mindful in life, in work, uh, and what your Lenten plans are. Uh, hopefully to get back into doing these once every week or two. Cheers, everybody.